Happy Friday, class. Hope your Photoshop went well yesterday. Today, we're going to be doing something new and exciting. The first thing that you're going to do is I want you to get your sketch that you created for your logo last Wednesday for At The Studio. Here's an example of the video, as you can see, uh, on the word playful, affable. So let's look at an example that I have. So grab your example. Next, we're going to head over to Squarespaces. The link is below the video. The first thing is click on where it says logo name and type in the word that you chose for your logo last week. Here's my example, affable. Then click on the arrow. What's cool is you're going to bring these you into a logo maker. You'll have your word you can click on and you can resize. You also have a logo that you can change by going over to the icon section. Go ahead and search for a symbol. So you could search for um, smile. Click on the arrow and you'll have some icons to choose from. So again, click on a search for the idea of I'm going to type in friend and you I just typed in friend and I've gotten a display of several different icon logos that represent the idea of friendship. You can also change the color of your logo by clicking up in the black square. When it comes to the text, you have different choices for your text. Uh, you have different when it comes when it comes to text, you have different typefaces to choose from. Lastly, from your homework last night, you need to type in your tagline. And you came up with a tagline for your at the studio yesterday. Now that you have all your items, now that you have your word, your icon that matches the idea of your word, and your tagline, you're ready to organize them. As you select them, holding down your shift key, use your alignments to center them. And then they have layout options for you to choose. And now that you have created your logo, go ahead and click on Save Logo, download your low res, right click, and save your image to your folder. Now go ahead and open up your light logo that you were working on last Wednesday. And if you didn't finish it, well, last Wednesday, if you didn't finish it, now is the time to finish it. When it is completed, with your logo and word combined together, go ahead and save it and then export it out for your portfolio. Once you have exported it out for your portfolio, that's a PNG, head on over, go onto your drive to your portfolio. Inside your portfolio, you should have your self-portrait. And after your self-portrait, you should have your ligature logo. Next, make a new slide and add your light logo. After you add your light image, after you've added your light logo, go to your documents folder and locate the graphic logo that you created today with your word icon and tagline and add that as well. I will see you 
on Monday.